Cable companies are way behind. I want to be able to take what I record on my TV and transfer it to my computer. Well, until they fix that, there is a solution. It's called an HD PVR. And today I'll show you how to record live TV directly onto your computer. But before we continue, you should know that CBS Interactive does not condone or encourage illegal duplication or distribution of copyrighted content. Okay, with that out of the way, we can get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need an HD PVR. I got this from Hopage on Amazon.com for about $200. You'll also need your source. For me, that's my cable box, but it can also be your TV or even a gaming console. Lastly, you'll need a computer. Now, let's get everything linked up. So first, I'll connect the HD PVR to my cable box. I'm using component cables uh, because right now you can't use HDMI. Component is the best quality you'll get. That'll give me 720p video, which looks really good on a computer and on mobile devices. So once I have it hooked up to my HD PVR, I'll hook everything up to my cable box. Okay, this isn't rocket science. We'll just match up all the colors. That's all set, and now the last thing I need to do is connect my computer to the HD PVR. It uses USB 2.0 because right now 3.0 isn't available. Okay, everything is linked up and it really is that easy. Now we should be able to see what's on my TV on my computer screen. So I'll launch the software that came with the HD PVR. It's called Total Media Extreme. As soon as I launch it, there it is, I can see what's on my TV right here. Before we start recording, we have to change a few settings. So I'll go into format settings, and here's what's important. You wanna take a look at the max bit rate. This will determine the video quality and the file size. So the lower the bit rate, the worse the video quality, and the higher the bit rate, the better. For me, I'm going to choose seven megabytes per second. That'll give me pretty decent video and a smaller file size. So that's all set, I'll hit okay. Lastly, I'll choose the format of the video. I'm doing MP4 so that I can put it on my Android phone and in my Google Cloud Drive. But if you're burning it to a DVD or a Blu-ray, you're going to want to choose TS. We're all set and we're ready to capture. So I'll hit play on my cable box. And the video and the audio come rolling through here. I'll hit capture. And my video is recording. I'll let this run for a couple minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, I think that's enough video. I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna pause my DVR. And right now the file is saving and I set it to save in my video folder. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, my videos. Let me open it up for you. And there it is, playing on my computer. And you'll see just how good this quality is, even at seven megabytes per second. And you saw how easy that was. Now, if I was recording an entire movie, it would be a much larger file size, and it would, of course, take longer because you're recording in real time. Now that I have this on my computer, I'm going to transfer it onto my phone. I'll show you what that looks like. So pause the video, I'll just plug my Android phone into the computer. And of course, what's easy about this is that it's just drag and drop. If you have an iPhone, it might take some converting. Again, if you recorded a movie, it's going to take much longer to transfer onto your mobile device. But that's the price you pay, right? So for this example, you notice that I'm using a PC. If you use the HD PVR with a Mac, you're going to need to purchase a $30 program. But what comes with the HD PVR, that software is free for PC. All right, the video is transferred. Let's see what it looks like. It should show up in my video app. There it is. The video that was on my TV is on my phone and it worked just like that. Now, as you witnessed, that was super easy. And once you have all the components set up in your media cabinet, it'll take no time to record live TV onto your computer. Now, if you do make a habit out of doing this, you will wanna buy an external hard drive. Okay, if you have any questions along the way or wanna know more about the HD PVR, tweet me at Sharon Vac or send your questions to alwayson at cnet.com.